Well, the holiday shopping I know, season. I'm doing a little bit right now. What would you like, Vlad? <laughs> I want um, a one of those Amazon Echoes. Okay, well, you can get that online. Okay. So millions of people though are hitting the malls on Black Friday, Jamie. Shoppers are expected to shell out three billion dollars today alone. Three billion. I know. For more on Black Friday shopping, we turn to financial expert Hillary Kramer. Hillary, you and I were just talking. I think what's so fascinating, specifically about this Black Friday, is you have millennials who actually like to go out to the stores and do mm -hmm. this whole thing. But they don't buy anything. They want the experience or the vacation or they want to one up each other on social media. What is going on? <laughs> well, millennials, from their earliest memories, the whole kind of Black Friday rush of going in and looking and shopping, but not necessarily buying, it's entertainment for them. What the millennials <laughs> really want, it's experiential. Okay, so because of Snapchat, because of Instagram, everyone competes for where can I go, what can I do um, to, to show off where I'm going. And to have that experience, because millennials have lived through so many ups and downs, they understand it's all fleeting. So they don't want like the gray cashmere sweater from Macy's. They want to go on a trip. They want to go in Thailand. They want to go on a cruise. Good bang for the buck. Uh, so, you know, you can see companies like Priceline actually having a very good holiday season, including maybe a good Black Friday. So kind of look outside the box. Something else very interesting is Trump has already started some new fads. Oh, for really? Golf. Really? Okay. Golf. Oh, golf. So you're going to see Dick's Sporting Goods. They're already hinting that people are coming in for golf clubs, golf accessories accessories, golf clothing. Huh. So golf is getting very hot, but ammunition and guns? No, Cabela's might struggle a little bit this season because <laughs> now there's no rush to have to go get a gun because there's no concern about uh, gun control coming to coming to the forefront. How interesting is that? It is really interesting. And I wonder, you know, we, we say that the, the sales are going to exceed $3 billion, but there are a couple of companies, for example, my favorite store, REI, is closed oh. this weekend um, or this holiday for Thursday and Friday. And they're trying to encourage people to go outside and enjoy the outdoors mm -hmm. or their families. Which goes to their brand. It does go to their brand, but I wonder, does it hurt their bottom line or is the upside potential in PR and feel goodness worth it for them? Oh, it may work for Re REI, and I thought that that was, you know, really a lovely message, which is get out there and they will have a loyal following. Because if you like REI, you like REI no matter what, or right. Patagonia, Patagonia is example. another one, yeah. Right, yeah. right. But when it comes to the other stores, I really think it's important for them to be open. You know, Mall of the Americas closed. I mean, there were some stores open, but really, like, take JC Penny. They opened yesterday around three o'clock in the afternoon. They've done very well. Have they? Target opened at wow. six p.m. They have said they've had some record sales come in. So it really does make a difference by by uh, opening up and being and being available. Well, you know? I, I think it's interesting because the conversation when these stores went to open on Thanksgiving, it was like this backlash against them. <laughs> like opening up at twelve oh one. Exactly. Right? And, well, but then, yes. you, then you hear from the CEO of Target, Brian Cornell, was on CBS this morning this week, and he said the employees actually really get into it and they want to be a part of it it's all about the experience i guess um but in a place like target i go into target for three things underwear me me i i, I go i me like underwear and t-shirts okay. uh, i'm like buying windex and you know whatever but you go in for those three things and then you end up buying all this other stuff but when you look at online shopping right. they also do very very well so it are we kind of how are we making the turn oh, to online well it is the year of online 20 percent of every dollar that's being spent this weekend will be spent potentially even on Amazon, not just online. So wow. we're going to see if Amazon's going to break some records. Online in general, we'll see four times the amount of sales increase versus just general big box stores. We're hoping to see a 3.7% increase in sales over last year. Uh, then we have Apple, for example. There's a lot of sales that take place online with Apple. Mm. And Apple has had some very nice discounting, which is very atypical for yeah, them. Yeah, why are you, you doing that? Yeah. yeah. Because they realize that maybe they can move the big item. You know, really, it's a very mature company if you think yeah. about it. So they want to move the 7, okay, the iPhone 7. So why not offer a $100 gift card if you buy an iPad, for example? Oh. So that's the kind of special and promotion that they're using. Are most of the uh, deals to be found uh, around electronics or 
I, because I feel like that's what people go. They want that big screen TV or, oh, mm -hmm. you know, they want the Xbox 4K, or the PlayStation baby. 4K. Like, is that where you find the best deals? Yes, it is. It's about electronics. It's about that $150 television. Okay, so that is where we're seeing the real rush and we're seeing the rush when the stores open. That's what they're going for. They're not running for the clothing. Right. They're not running for, you know, the small stocking stuffers, even though there's some pretty incredible deals there in that in that sense because it's finally the year of five dollars ten dollars you know stocking right. stuffers um because really a lot of uh we haven't really had price inflation we've right. had price deflation you know be because for many reasons and wages statistically and the mm -hmm. numbers tell us that wages have risen now i might argue that but if you want to believe it People feel wealthier. They also feel wealthier because their home prices are worth so Gas much more. Gas prices are down. You know, they're not right. feeling the fact that it's only the last two weeks that mortgage rates have risen. They were still low until two weeks ago. Right. So everyone feels a lot richer. Look, the the, the stock market's at an all-time historical no high. No doubt. Everyone feels good. Everyone's shopping. There's a sense of all the uncertainty about the election, at least for now, for behind now. us. Yeah. Right. And uh, and it should be a very, very exciting season. We're hoping it's healthy and happy. Well, I have to be honest. I was just in a, an area where there are a lot of stores, and the music was going. You <laughs> so I'm like, I'm ready to buy. Exactly. This, this is what you do with your credit card. Oh. Everybody can have one. Hillary Craver, thank happy you so much. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, Thanks for coming um, in. Yeah.